Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Nicole, and today we're going to read Falling for Rapunzel. This is by Leah Wilcox, and it's one of my favorite books. <clears throat> so, once upon a bad hair day, a prince rode up Rapunzel's way. From up above, he heard her whine, upset her hair had lost its shine. He thought her crying was a plea and sallied forth to set her free. Alas, she was too far away to quite make out what he would say. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, throw down your hair. She thought he said your underwear. No, Rapunzel, your curly locks. Rapunzel threw down dirty socks. Please, love, just your silky tresses. She thought he asked for silky dresses. And lace and frills up to his head, the prince's cheeks were blushing red. Rapunzel, do you have a rope? Rapunzel dropped a cantaloupe. It burst in pieces on his head. Oh, bad catch, Rapunzel said. Perhaps, he sighed, this is a test. And bound by love, he did not rest. Okay, Rapunzel, how about twine? She heaved out her blue ribbon swine. By now, the prince was feeling hammered, not to mention less enamored. He growled up, do you have a ladder? Rapunzel tossed out pancake batter. It covered him from head to toe. She yelled, it's better cooked, you know. At this, the poor prince had a cry, then cupped his hands for one last try. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your braid. Confused, Rapunzel pushed out her maid. The maid fell squarely on the prince, quite pleased with the coincidence. She nimbly jumped off his lap and soon revived the flattened chap. Then smiling said, for what it's worth, you'll find I'm really down to earth. His young heart thrilled, he gave a hoot. For what was more, the maid was cute. She set the prince upon his steed, then leaped behind with graceful speed. And leaning close so he could hear, she whispered something in his ear. I fell for you when we first met. He nodded. How could I forget? Rapunzel watched them ride from sight. I'm glad I finally heard him right. I hope if they come back for more, they'll think to knock on my back door. The end.